Hello my awesome and amazing Pisces. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collected reading. Love messages or messages from your specific person. What do they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Piscean viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number 11. Power of number 5. And number 5. 11, 55. Okay. Looks like we are going to the power of number 21. 21 in tarot is the world card. Your person could be closing out old karmic patterns and cycles in order for a new beginning to happen here. Or they are getting their karma in regards to how they treated you. Some of you Pisces are dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of November. Others of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. For others of you, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. And yes, a lot of you Pisces were also born throughout the month of March, and that is true. Strong Libra energy through the number 11, as well as more Capricorn energy coming in through the number 15. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. You could be dealing with one of the fixed signs, Aquarius, Taurus, possibly a Leo, and again, some more Scorpio energy kicking in. But either way, going to the power of number 21 for the beautiful star sign of Pisces, messages from your specific person. And 21. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Piscean viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? What does Pisces need to know about their person right now? Show me what's up. Ah, there you go, you guys. Power of number 21, the world card. There you go. Mm hmm. They're ready to close out some kind of a cycle or they are getting their karma. They could also. Be spying in on you, possibly on a social media platform. You could have met this person on a dating website, or you could still be connected with this person on a social media platform such as Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, X, Pinterest, whatever, okay, or TikTok. This person could also travel, or maybe the two of you have gone on vacations before in the past, or this person could be at a physical distance from you. So this could be a long distance relationship situation for some of you. Okay, so let's see what cycle is getting ready to close out for them. Something they're getting laid to rest here. Four of Swords, they're thinking. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. They could be coming into a form of a spiritual awakening. They're taking a time out from something or someone. The Empress. They're thinking about you, Pisces. Uh, the Empress can represent four different zodiac signs. Pisces, Aries, Libra, and also Taurus. 
they are thinking about what kind of connection they could have had with you. But I also feel here too, they want to come in for a reconciliation because the Empress represents a new beginning. Out with the old, in with the new. This wanted to flip out in the deck. They're going through some massive burden right now. Mm -hmm. They held back. They were really having a difficult time with their emotions. They did not like being vulnerable. A lot of them were selfish and greedy with their money. They might even owe you money, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Ancestors, what does this person that Pisces has dealt with before in the past, what does their higher self want to say to them? Please show me what's up. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So they have guilt, remorse, regret going on here. You and I were too young. In some cases, you guys could have known this person for 20 plus years. This could have been like a high school crush, college sweetheart, something like that for some of you guys. You could have also known each other since grade school. But a lot of times with this statement, if you hadn't been in a long-term partnership such as that, okay, this was like flat-out immaturity. Their communication was very immature. So they're thinking about their actions. They're very bound and determined to be back with you, Pisces, and to be back on your good graces. I lost myself for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Because they had irrational behavior, but they also had distractions. They had other choices and options, so they held back. I feel like this person is a little bit of a coward, okay? Because they're not so sure if what they have to say is going to be feasible. Like, if they don't know if you're going to believe them. Show us more trusted ancestor about Pisces person, please. Yeah, bad health. They stressed you out at one point in time, or this person is not mentally stable, or their stress levels are going up right now because they got karma on their back. If they're dealing with a karmic third party situation, they're getting their just goods. Family room. You know... If you two were really in a deep rooted, long-term committed partnership, you know, your family could have gotten to know their family, their family got to know your family and everybody was all up in everybody's business, especially yours and your person. Like everybody was putting their two cents in the wealthy man. You could be financially secure Pisces or your person is, or whoever they went off to could have had money and they left you like dust in the wind. But this can also talk about them getting their A game back up and running. Yeah, they're in despair. They're in despair. They don't know what to do. Some of them maybe have seen you move on to another person. And you could be perfectly happy right now, Pisces. For somebody, you know, that could be treating you very well. And treating you with a lot of kindness, love, and respect. This person really screwed up. I feel like they were bitching, whining, and complaining about something here. You're the person I want to do life with. So they do feel that you are still their person or in the past this is what it felt like. But there's a karmic cycle that's coming to an end here. 
I think you're great, but I'm worried about what other people would think. So this person was also a puppet on a string. And the family room is dominating over this card. So some of them, you were probably different Pisces. And if they came from a family that is very, let's just say very weird and meticulous and are all about appearances and things like that, that's not the type of in-laws that you would want in the first place. Because it, it's just going to end up being superficial. But they had insecurities because they were being heavily influenced. I definitely want to spend more time with you. Possibly to talk some things out. They're bound and determined to know that the two of you are going to be back together again. But it's almost like they have to strategize either behind the scenes. Part of me believes that because of the four of coins, they're not going to do it just yet. Because they're trying to, you know, close out a cycle here. I recognize the potential between us, but I also harbor some uncertainties. Yeah, because you were different. You're like, you're different outside of anybody that they've ever dealt with before Pisces. So the reservations were more on them. It's not because you're broken. It's not because you're so far out there bizarre or anything like that. It has nothing to do with that. It's their perception. Like, that tells me they're the type of people or this person is the type to keep up with the Joneses. That's what it feels like. It's all about imagery. But yet they knew in the past that you were the one for them. So their feelings were undeniable. But then when they got heavily persuaded or influenced by these other people, siblings, grandparents, parents, the friends, the bromances, the, the girlfriends, all of this, like they're in a clique. They're in a clique. That's what I'm picking up on. They put you in competition. They tried to dominate over you, control over you. This person had control issues. Five of Swords. Because they were all concerned about their appearances. Yeah. Family energy. But they also want to rekindle. Ten of Cups. You two could have children together. The Ten of Coins. Show me the money. Again. There could have been a lot of assets that were built up between you and this person, or they came from money. Maybe you came from money. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, this person got hesitant because they were concerned about what other people were thinking. I feel like this person, Pisces, for some of you guys, did not have a sense of humor. Just far too serious. The Queen of Wands, this can also talk about a third-party situation. However, they're still attracted to you. They could be consulting the advice of a friend, a family member right now. Because they're sitting on the fence, Nine of Wands. Some of you guys are dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and also, again, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. What's the dance sister show me for those that are in no communication with this person <clears throat> with Pisces with their person what's going on here no matter who I am with my thoughts always lead me back to you yeah because you were their person I hate this distance between us it doesn't feel good 
Somebody's all up in their feelings right now. I know what you mean to me. I am ready to be with only you now. I don't want to let you go. I miss being with you. Even though they did let you go, somewhere in their deeper psyche, they still think that they're with you. So they, I'm hearing the song, you really got a hold on me. So it's like hot, cold, hot, cold. Mm-hmm. This person was just too consumed with what other people were thinking. Because Pisces, you're different, you're unique, you're special. That does not mean that you're weird or you're broken. It has nothing to do with that. But they were trying to keep up with appearances. And it almost feels like if you were trying to be laughing or joking or try to crack a joke, it's like your person was too serious, far too serious. Like you couldn't really truly be yourself, Pisces. And then they made you feel like you were swimming on eggshells instead of swimming in the ocean. Okay, so we're going to leave the energy at that. But they've got karma on their back right now for what they've done. My awesome and amazing Pisces, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. Pisces, if you like this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.